And welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Mike Wee Maidness. We're Memphis, Tennessee, visiting with Mark Burley of the Chicago White Sox. As the White Sox be participating in the Civil Rights game, what is the significance of this game to you today? Well, I mean, it's good to come here. Uh, to be honest with you, I, the knowledge of the, the, the Civil Rights Museum we went and uh, visited today, so I got to, uh, a little bit more knowledge on it. But uh, before we came here, I didn't, I didn't really know too much about it. But uh, it's good to get out here and, and uh, just be able to participate in this game. And we're right on the brink of the season, and there's a lot of expectation for the White Sox. So what are you looking for this season as far as your numbers? Well, I mean, obviously, starting pitch, you want to go out there and win 20 games. Um, but, but go out there and give your team a chance to win. You know, it's, we got a tough division. Uh, no one's giving us a chance to win, so we just got to go out there and uh, kind of like in, in 2005, uh, go out there and kind of surprise some people, and uh, hopefully we can get off to a hot start. And, you know, we came down from Chicago with a group of 45 youngsters that's going to be rooting and cheering for the White Sox today. Awesome. So to those youngsters out there, and I show reach a young audience, so we try to ask a question that the youngsters would like to hear high school and college-age kids. Uh, being the start of the season, you know, the gruel of a spring training, how does it feel to finally get through with spring training and get ready for the regular season? It feels awesome. Uh, to me, spring training's... Uh, we're down there a month and a half, and it's about a month too long. We could get out of there a little bit earlier, but uh, I think everybody's glad to be out of there, uh, kind of doing the same reputation down there. You're doing the same stuff every day. Uh, so it's nice to get out into a stadium like this, uh, kind of get into the big league atmosphere of, of a big league stadium and uh, facing some, some different guys you don't see uh, in spring training. So I think everybody's excited to, to get out of there and get out of the season. So what's expectation we should have for you, a 20-game season? No, Another no-hitter I mean, maybe? You know, I, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, um, you know, I said I'd never throw a no-hitter in the first place, and I threw one, so I can't say no, never again. But uh, obviously, like I said, 20 games for, for a starter. But uh, to go out there and give my team a chance to win and, and hopefully win the majority of my starts. And then closing to that young pitcher out there that have ambitions of being a big league pitcher one day, what would you give them as far as advice? Well, never give up. I, uh, I got cut my first two years of high school uh, and was about to give up, uh, just kind of give up baseball altogether. Uh, my mom and dad kind of talked me in saying they didn't raise a quitter, so went back out my next year and made the team, and, and you know here I am today. So uh, never give up if, if it's your dream and uh, you think you can get it done. Keep on going out there and working hard, and, and hopefully you'll get there one day. So to you young, aspiring major leaguers, you're hearing it from the best. Talk to me with the coach, Mike. We made visiting with Mark Burley.